We're back, joined, I'm very pleased to say, I think for the first time on this program, by Ambassador Kenneth Blackwell. He is a man that contributes mightily to the national security as well as the public policy debate in our country, primarily in his role as a senior fellow for family empowerment at the Family Research Council. He's also a contributing editor for townhall.com and a visiting professor at the Liberty University School of Law. But in addition, he has served his country with distinction in government as an undersecretary at the Department of Housing and Urban Development and also as an ambassador to the United Nations Human Rights Commission. Mr. Ambassador, welcome to Secure Freedom Radio. It's great to have you with us. Frank, good to be with you, sir. You caught my eye, Ken, with uh, something you wrote the other day about your experiences at a meeting convened by something that's gone by different names over the years. It's, uh, I guess, generically described as uh, an Iranian opposition group, uh, also known as the NCRI, uh, the uh, MEK, um, and uh, more generally a, a group that's been around for quite some time operating primarily out of Iraq, but seeking to bring down the government of Iran, which is, needless to say, a very good thing in, in both of our estimations. Tell us about your travels uh, to Paris and, and what you saw in the course of a major rally taking place there, sponsored by this group. I, I went to, to Paris to uh, observe the, the rally of uh, the Iranian resistance uh, made up of uh, many members of the Iranian uh, diaspora from across the country. Uh, the crowd was estimated at about 120,000 uh, MEK activists, uh, National uh, Council of Resistance in Iran activists, which is the umbrella group for um, many of the organizations that are uh, calling for regime change in Iran. Uh, and so uh, I was uh, I was taken back uh, by the stellar group, uh, bipartisan group of American politicians, diplomatic dignitaries, and mil and military commanders uh, that were there both as observers and as participants uh, in in the rally. Our guest is Kenneth Blackwell. He served as a U.S. ambassador to the United Nations Human Rights Commission. He's also the author of several best-selling books, including one that I think is particularly important, The Blueprint, Obama's Plan to Subvert the Constitution and Build an Imperial Presidency. A subject we'll be talking more about with Rick Manning in the next segment. But Ken Blackwell, we're interested in the company you were keeping. Uh, just say a bit more about the people who were participating from the United States who this audience might recognize uh, at least their names, if not uh, all of their service. Well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, Ambassador John Bolton uh, was there and he spoke to, to the rally. Uh, so did the former head of the Joint Chief of Staff, uh, Hugh Shelton, a uh, former uh, commandant of the Marine Corps, Jim Conway, um, and 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 other military uh, officials uh, and 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 leaders, uh, but you had Rudy Giuliani and 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 others who also spoke. Uh, Tom Ridge, a uh, former head of Homeland uh, Security, uh, and so the 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 group was bipartisan. Um, you had um, such leaders on the Democratic side as um, a former. Uh, uh, Governor uh, Ed Rendell of, of Pennsylvania. Uh, you, you had Howard Dean, uh, former head of the DNC. Uh, it was a bipartisan group of conservative liberals, uh, but they were unified by the fact that they thought uh, that Iran uh, needed a regime change, uh, that there was no evidence uh, that the Iranian regime has made a strategic decision to give up their pursuit of nuclear weapons. And so as you and I have been working uh, to stop uh, this this deal, they were calling for uh, an end to to talks with this rogue regime. And uh, I want to come back to the talks in just a moment, but um, to to just calibrate here, Ken Blackwell, the the group has had a somewhat checkered history. Um, it has been designated as a terrorist group. It was sponsored by Saddam Hussein during his tenure as a sort of counter to the Iranians. Um, there's no question that it has done some very useful work in terms of exposing aspects of the Iranian nuclear program 
And uh, and I, for one, very strongly support the idea that only regime change is really going to bring to an end this uh, threat from the Iranian nuclear program. But what what is your current reading on the, uh, for example, the degree to which these um, these Iranian opposition figures, particularly the MEK, uh, Ambassador Blackwell, enjoy any support within the country? Uh, they certainly have got an ability to throw their weight around outside, but is, is there any evidence that they could actually help catalyze regime change in your judgment? There's every bit of evidence that that, that is, is the case, and I think uh, it is the reason why the present regime went out on a massive campaign to to destroy uh, their uh, credibility. Look, regarding the, the terror label, it's now been established that it was carried out by the Clinton administration to placate the Ayatollahs as part of a futile attempt to find moderates uh, in the regime. The futility of that uh, e- uh, endeavor is self-evident. Uh, the MEK took the most civilized way and took uh, to the, the, their case to the highest courts, uh, and 20 courts in the U.K., the E.U., and the U.S. all vindicated the MEK uh, from, from that label. So we, we believe, uh, I believe, and uh, many of the dignitaries from the U.S. who participated or observed the rally believe that the National Council of Resistance in Iran is a platform that not only uh, unifies the Iranian uh, diaspora, uh, but has ties back in uh, to uh, into uh, Iran that could be a catalyst for change. Um, Mr. Messer, let me switch gears because I, I want to come to the other point that you made, which is is really the dangers associated with this deal particularly from your vantage point as a former U.S. ambassador to the Human Rights Council, you know firsthand the horrors that uh, the Iranian regime has meted out both to its own people and to lots of others besides, including thousands of our servicemen and women who've been uh, murdered or maimed by their uh, improvised explosive devices or other attacks. To the extent that this deal, as President Obama is now crafting it, will result at a minimum in the easing of sanctions and almost certainly, in addition, uh, continuing unfreezing of funds that have been held basically by the United States since 1979, in most cases, uh, it, what is that likely to translate into, in your judgment, about um, you know the future of this kind of uh, well, horrifying behavior on the part of this regime, unless there is regime change. I think it will accelerate the nuclearization of the Middle East. Uh, I think it will result in Iran having uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, Look, uh, back in April, President Obama uh, preemptively caved on the longstanding U.S. condition that there be no immediate sanction relief for any Iranian uh, nuclear deal. He casually dismissed uh, and, and, and erased the red line, declaring that what is really important is whether sanctions can be reimposed if Iran cheats. Well, you and I know that this regime has been lying for 35 years, and who in their right mind, as Ambassador Bolton said in, in Paris, thinks that they're going to change their behavior now over such uh, a, a, a a critical priority of theirs. Especially when they're being rewarded for not changing a thing. Mr. Ambassador, we, we have to leave it at that. I'm afraid we're hard out of time, but uh, there's so much more to discuss. I hope you will come back to us again very soon. Ambassador Kenneth Blackwell, former mayor of Cincinnati, as well as Secretary of State of Ohio. Thank you so much for your time, sir, and for your extraordinary service to our country. Uh, do come back to us again. Rick Manning joins us next. We'll talk with him about Fast Track and what that's likely to mean for you straight ahead.